So once again, good morning, everyone. Thanks for being here. I do appreciate it. I know um, probably got better things to do on a Saturday morning. What we're going to talk about here today is just strictly TC2000, some of the new things in version 19. And I see some of you are going to the TC2000 um, um, class that they do. They have this traveling uh, show that kind of goes around to different cities and things like that. I don't live anywhere near a city or metropolitan area, so they never come through my area. Um, but I know Michael Thompson well, and um, you um, you would be missing out if you don't go to don't go to their event. It's um, really um, really good. I've been to them before when I lived out in Seattle. They're in the Seattle area and um, always enjoyed them, always learned a lot. And um, yeah, that's right, Al. Michael Thompson is, he, he, he is the expert. And I, w I just want to let everyone know, even though I've used the Warden Brothers product for probably more than 25 years, um, I don't consider myself an expert on it. Okay. And... Um, yes, you can. Version, um, actually, when you turn it on, you have the choice uh, whether you want 18 or if you want to load the version 19 beta. Yeah, there's no additional cost um, for version 19. So uh, uh, it's easy to do. Um, and, you know, you don't have to go to version 19. All right. There's, um, there, it's still in beta. But I can tell you, I've used it for some time now, um, several months, and I've had no issues with it at all um, overall. But let me just repeat that one more time. I, I don't consider myself an expert on TC2000. Um, I get a lot of questions about TC2000. I thought what I'd do is just record a full class, and we'll just go over the different aspects. And if you have questions, this is your time to really ask questions. If I can answer them, I certainly will. And there may be someone in the room that can answer your question beyond what I know. So um, it's a great piece of software. And I would tell you guys this, that if you're struggling as a trader, one of the things that you have to do, you must do is get good quality tools. It's, it's, trading is hard enough on its own. And if you don't have good quality tools, um, you're going to, you're going to struggle. That's just all there is to it. You're going to struggle. And TC2000 may not be that perfect tool for you. It is for me. I love the tool. Um, it is, um, well, and hopefully I'll show you it's one of the best pieces of software out there for charting. Now, if you guys, is there anyone in here that's never used TC2000? Um, Gwen, yes, everything, everything is saved. Okay, a few folks that have never used TC2000. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a link right now just in case you need to leave. I'm going to give you a link where you can go check it out. And the reason you want to use this link is because it saves you 25 bucks. Okay. <clears throat> It'll save you 25 bucks on um, getting it. So if you want to check it out and I'll, and I'll post that, um, I'll post that a couple more times for anyone who happens to miss it. So first off, let's take a look. One of the things I'm doing here a little bit different today is I'm is I'm gonna, going to record my full screen. And that typically slows down Omnovia. And a part of it might be my bandwidth, part of it might be your bandwidth, but it'll slow down um, transitions and things like that on the screen. So I'm gonna try and slow down. We'll take as much time as we need to, um, to go over different things. And um, 
if there's any questions or things as we go along, we'll do that. Now this, is, as you can see across my screen, let me just orient you to, to the software just a little bit. You can see I've set up my screen where I've got um, the main, my main chart. And this is, um, I have multiple workspaces. Okay, so you can have multiple workspaces in TC2000. So if you want something different, if you want to look at the market a different way, for example, this is one I use all the time. And when I, when I open up that, it's just the four major indexes. So I can take a quick look on a weekly basis where we are. Anybody see any problems with these? Potential problems. Anybody see possible head and shoulder tops forming <laughs> on some of these indexes? And I say possible, not not there yet, but possible. We could push on through, and that avoids that head and shoulders top. But there is some little bit of pattern out there that's a little bit concerning um, in those charts. But <clears throat> so you and you can switch back and forth just with a click from different workspaces. You, so you can set up lots of different ways that you can look at the market and you can get extremely complicated or be very, very simple. Here's a sector chart that I have. And you'll see that this sector chart is actually, it's like an eye test. Okay, this is all of the Spider Select sector ETFs. And I've plotted them on here. And my pink line in here is the S&P 500. And everything else is one of the ETFs. So I can quickly see which ETF or any ETFs, if, if it's outperforming the S&P or if it's underperforming the S&P. And um, it's a real simple tool to just see what's going on in the overall market. Um, and it, it's not hard to set up. And, and you can just, you can do just virtually anything and have virtually any setup you want. It, it's really only limited by your creativity. <clears throat> um, these tabs down here at the bottom, these are different workspaces that I have set up. So those tabs down there at the bottom is where you're going to change. So right now I'm on this um, sector tab right here but if I if I click over to this one this is the chart that you guys normally see during the day and by the way I am normally only broadcasting um, from here to here those corners okay so you're seeing the full screen here today okay now I've got watch lists and scans, and I keep some floating watch lists, a couple that I'm working on, but I always keep this one floating. And the reason that's floating is um, uh, it's, it's something that I pull out and use as an example all the time for the day. So I leave that one floating, but you can dock these scans and, and things anywhere you want in the chart. So let's take a minute here. SSTS, um, it doesn't mean anything, uh, Francis. There's no particular uh, particular meaning. We we at one time um, were putting up a service called SSTS, and I had created this, and I don't know, it was just on my mind, and I I named it SSTS. So yeah, nothing nothing special. Um, <clears throat> So I'm going to open up a brand new workspace and I'm going to show you right from the beginning um, how easy it is to to set up um, or get an initial setup going in your TC2000. Now you can you can operate like I operate or you can you can create virtually any setup that you want. Here's one that I I did um, because I've shown everybody in the room the three line moving average chart and I've shown them a guppy chart and I've also got a standard candlestick and a hike and ashy so you can have so many different setups plus you know still have a watch list and scan over here so you can have so many different setups and so many different ways that you can use your TC2000 
Um, it's it's just you know kind of remarkable how many different methods and ways that you can use it. So I'm gonna go um, just just for giggles here. I'm just gonna go here and if you see this little paper icon, when you first open up TC2000, it's gonna open up with a standard, um, some kind of a standard window. And you may not want that at all. <clears throat> okay. Um, yes, I will explain the watch list. Yes. You may not want the, um, want their setup at all. If you click this little paper icon right here, just like a little piece of paper, click on that, and it's going to bring up this here. It's going to ask you, what do you want? And you can see I've got a whole bunch of saved stuff and different layouts that I've created over the years. And all this is is picking a template. What do you want your chart to look like? What do you want it to be? And this just gives you some basic templates to work with. All right. So I'm going to I'm just going to pick this one right here. Okay? And when you pick that right there, you can see it's giving me three potential windows. Okay, to work with. Now what I normally do is I do something like this. I pull these to the side. Just hover over them and drag them. And I'm going to put a chart in here. So let first let me click on the chart button and I'm just going to go to my naked chart. <clears throat> okay, so there's the chart that you guys see every day. Right here in the middle. Now, what if I want more than this chart? What if I want a um, the volatility stop um, chart as well? Well, all I would have to do is come over here to this charts tab up here in the upper left, click on that charts tab, and then just type in what chart I want. Now I'm looking for the naked chart with a volatility stop. I click on it and it opens up a chart, my ch that, that chart. And basically what it's wanting to know is what do you want to do with it? You, it? you can leave this to float around, okay? You can click this icon right here and it creates its own window and you can move that chart to any other monitor that you have. So you can spread TC2000 out over all of your monitors if you want. Charts everywhere. Okay. Or you can do what I do, and that is I click this icon right here, okay? And basically what it does, once I click that, it's gonna move you to what they call target mode. And basically it's asking where do you want this chart placed? So you can see I could click this arrow and place that chart below this chart. I could place it to the sides. I could place it over here. So wherever you want to place it, you can do it. If you click the tab here button, okay, what it does is it puts a tab across the top of your charts here. So now I have the naked chart and I have the naked chart with a volatility stop. right there. So let's say I want my three line moving average chart. I've named that ringer. I don't know why I've named it ringer because I think it's a ringer to use, I guess. <clears throat> there's my, and oh, there's my version I've saved. It had a purple background, some kind of a lavender background. Anytime you save it, it'll save the new settings. So you can see um, with this one, if I want to add this to my list of charts, just click that icon again and say tab it here. So there's that three line moving average chart. Okay, now let's say I want to have a watch list Okay, I need a watch list over here. 
Well, all I have to do is click on my watch list button first right here. And let's say I use my, um, I haven't changed my list yet, my January option focus list and drop it right in here. There we go. So now all of my option stocks that I watch are right there in that chart. Okay, and I can I can also layer in multiple different things. Say for example, <clears throat> I want to have a specific scan. Um, I could create a scan and then have that scan tiled together here. So I'm going to pull up an, an, an old scan. I'm going to pull up like a, a, a round of bottom breakout scan. If I go to my easy scan button and I just type in um, round of bottom breakout, this is the one I, I used to use the most. And I'll just click scan and it brings up the scan. Okay. And then I can click this icon right here one more time. Click that icon and I can tab it right here. Now look across the top here, as you can see, I have the option focus list right here. I just have to click on it and I have the rounded bottom breakout scan right here. So you can take any of these things and create any kind of a list that you might want. Okay. And it's really not that hard to do. Um, it, it's actually very, very simple. Um, TC2000, it's gotten to the place where you don't even really have to know a lot of the programming language, language for most scans, for most things that you want um, in, in the chart. Um, you program them directly from the chart. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up this chart because you can see I've got some other stuff on here that by the way TC2000 if you shut off an indicator oh I went kind of fast there if you open click on an indicator open it up you have an opacity slider whether you want that to show up on the screen or not okay so you, a lot of times I keep um, a lot of my indicators shut off until I want to see them and the reason is I want to be studying price action first. Okay. So <clears throat> when we when we slide this over, you can see it, it brings up the eight exponential moving average. And the only reason I'm going to do this is I, I'm going to show you how you can create a scan. There's the 34 exponential moving average. You can create a scan directly from the screen. You don't have to know any programming language. Okay, so it's pretty simple. All we'd have to do to create that scan is we're gonna, first we're going to think about the condition that we want. What What's the condition of the scan? Well, let's say I want the eight above the 34 exponential. I just want to find charts where the eight is above the 34 exponential. Well, all I would have to do for, for, for doing that, you can do a lot of different ways, but if, if I come over here and I click on the eight exponential moving average indicator, it brings up this list and says, well, what are you trying to do? You want to edit it? What do you want to do here? Well, I want to create a condition, a scan condition. Anytime you see this little funnel icon, that's a scan condition or a scan. Okay, so you'll want to click that and say, okay, so what do you want to do? What kind of condition are you looking for? Well, you can see my indicator is the, the exponential moving average, and you can see I want it greater than, or you click this down arrow. What if we don't want it greater than? What if we just want it versus that other indicator? 
TC2000 records every indicator that you have on your chart. And so you can create a, um, an, a scan or an indicator or anything that you want based on just looking at the different things in this list. So we've got the 34 exponential on the chart here. And so I want the eight exponential above the 34 exponential. You can have it crossing up or crossing down, above or below. I'm just gonna click above, and then I'm gonna hit scan. Okay, so everything in this scan, we're gonna look quickly, and you're gonna see the eight exponential is going to be above the 34. Every single one of them will be that way. Crossing up or above, because that's what we ask for. Now, notice this list. I'm getting all kinds of crummy stuff. There's 2,895 stocks in this list. I don't want that. I, don't, I, can't, I can't look at all of those charts. Maybe I just want to, to do this on a smaller list. See this little um, where it says up here, U.S. Common Stocks? If you open that up, just click on it, you can have all kinds of watch lists or all kinds of lists in here. Let's say I just want to run that against my, uh, my options watch list. I can just start topic, typing in my options focus list. And now I'm only scanning stocks that are above the, th the eight is above the 34 in my personal watch list. Okay. So you can create multiple different ways. And let's say we, we want to make sure that price is above the eight exponential moving average. Not only do we want the eight above the 34, we want price to be above the eight. All you have to do is click on your price icon here, where it's BBBY daily. Click on that. Say create a condition. Okay. And we're going to go in rather than greater than. We're going to come in here and we're going to say price versus the eight exponential moving average. And we want price to be above. Okay. And now all we have to do is we have to add this to this scan. Okay, and they've changed some of the verbiage in here on version 19. But if you, you click the add to button, click on item in layout. You click on that item in layout and it's going to bring up that target mode. It's gonna ask you, where do you want this? Well, you can place it anywhere you want, but I want it right here and I'm just gonna add it to the conditions of this scan. So I click there and notice that my scan has automatically changed and I've created a very, very simple scan here in just a few moments and I didn't have to do anything. If you see something on a chart that you like and you've got a couple indicators or something or price action, you have something you like, you can literally program a scan to look for the exact same pattern looking right at the chart. Uh, Gwen, you can do all of this in gold, yes. Now the platinum, um, the platinum doesn't provide you a whole lot more. Um, it gives you, um, it's automatic real time where in the gold you have to purchase um, a monthly for the, for the real time. Platinum is always real time. Platinum allows you more alerts and things like that. But to, to be honest, 99% of the people don't need that. And, and to be honest, I don't really need it. I've paid for it for years and I guess I'll probably just keep doing it, but. But you're certainly, I mean, certainly um, can can use, go ahead and get platinum if you, if you feel that's important. <clears throat> now I was asked on the watch list, how do we, how do we modify this watch list? And by the way, I do have videos on YouTube 
on this specific subject. So if you guys um, kind of get lost or, or don't quite keep up on this, please understand that I do have other videos and, and feel free to ask your questions, but um, I have a video specifically on working with watch lists and things in TC2000, okay? So if you, if you uh, want to do something different with this watch list, maybe, maybe these columns, net change, percent change, maybe you're not interested in that. Maybe you don't even want volume on here. I don't know. Um, you can eliminate those. You can see if I right click on net change, I can just click delete. That column goes away. Okay. And I can add in virtually anything that you want to a watch list to sort the watch list. And this is what I do. For me, efficiency is, a, is really, really important. I'm very, very busy. And so I want my watch list to do um, specific things. First, I have a qualified watch list that narrows the field of stocks that I'm looking at. I'm not interested in chasing everything in the market, not even close. Okay. <clears throat> so what I want to do, what I want to do is I want to give you guys or show you how to, um, how to sort a watch list effectively. Okay. Let's say we only want to see stocks that are trending. First, we've already narrowed the list because we're using a, a specific uh, qualified watch list. Maybe we only want to see stocks that are trending. Okay. So I'm going to click this plus button here and I'm going to say, add a column to this. Okay. Add a column. Um, let's see. Yeah, and I want a condition column. So this condition, I'm going to type in um, 34, 34 exponential trending 20 days. Um, I'm going to click on that and put that in here. By the way, I'm going to give that to you guys. Um, And anybody can create this scan. <laughs> um, th there's nothing hard about this stuff. Um, once you learn the terminology, um, it's very, very easy to create scan code for TC2000. I mean, trust me, if I can do this, anybody can. And if you go to the videos um, that I have on YouTube, in the description, um, of those videos, you'll see that there is um, PDFs that you can download. And those PDFs have all kinds of, um, like if you're, if you're wanting a hammer candle, uh, there's a PDF where you, I've already created it. Okay. So you can, you can um, have a hammer scan um, and you can combine that with all kinds of stuff. And there's a whole bunch of coding stuff in there so that you guys can uh, begin to write your own scans. Okay. So from here, you can see that I've added, I want 34, the 34 exponential trending. I want it moving up. I want it moving up at least 20 days. And notice when I put that in this list, it automatically put it here and all I have to do to sort this, you see the check marks that came up in here. If I click on this title bar, it will sort all of those charts that have the 34 trending up 20 days. It will bring them all to the top. Anybody like CHK here? Look how easy this is. We just created this quick scan. There's a beautiful breakout on CHK. And by the way, I didn't pre-plan this, guys. I, I mean, that's just coming up. Okay, so very, very simple. 
simple stuff. Yes, you can use it across multiple monitors. You can have, you can spread it out as far as you want. Um, version 19, they, they've come out with a new mobile version now. So I have full TC2000 on my phone. I have my full TC2000 on my iPad. Okay. So I can be completely mobile and still accessing my charts. Okay. Highly recommend it. Highly, highly, highly. I have no idea whether you can use it in your browser at work. I have um, a lot of work computers. Uh, they have um, um, you can you you can okay. Um, a lot of businesses and stuff like that will have um, firewalls and stuff that won't allow it to work. Okay. So if you're interested in that, here, let me, um, Let me give you the link. There's there's a link. You'll go to tc2000.com uh, anywhere. And um, you have to sign in. Okay. There's my old sign in. Back when I had my business, I had a company. My business was Woodcraft Builders. And um, so you can see Woodcraft 19. <laughs> that was when I was a carpenter many, many moons ago. Um, and then you can um, go through whether you want Mac, iOS, Android, Chromebook, some other kind of web client. Okay. And you put that on your phone, on your iPads, whatever. Always have your charts with you wherever you go. Now, somebody asked me how I get the lines on what those lines and those lines were about. Well, see where we have check marks on here? You can also modify how this shows this to you. When you add multiple things, let's say, for example, I want to have... Um, the balance of power. I want to see balance of power. Guys, do not send me PMs while I'm doing this. Um, I won't answer them. Um, I can't. I got too much going on here. Um, so what I want to do in this is I want to, I want to look, I want an indicator. I want the balance of power to be turning green. Okay, so all I'm going to do is click on the balance of power um, indicator here, and I'm going to say create a condition. Okay, I'm going to create that condition, and I want balance of power to be greater than, I know that it turns green at 30. Okay, so I'm going to say greater than 30. Okay, and then I'm going to add this to... Add this to and do item in layout. Click on that. And this time, rather than add to conditions, I'm going to add a column and sort. Okay. So now I know all of these yellow check marks have a balance of power greater than 30. And notice that I still have my scan running where the stock must be trending 30 days. 
excuse me, 20 days, that the eight must be above the 30, that the price must be above the eight, uh, uh, 34, I mean, and I'm sorting that it has to have balance of power. So you can have multiple sorts in a watch list. Okay, you're right, I, I, I don't use volume buzz, um, um, but you know, if you find it useful, you know, by all means. I'm not really a volume guy, I'm a, I, I'm a price guy, so it doesn't really work, do much for me. But that's okay, and, and that's the cool thing about this. You can have anything that you want, anything that works for you, by all means, give it a shot. Now these check marks, you see how every time I add one of these, it widens up my watch list? Well, one of the things I do, I'm so busy with what I do, I want to keep everything concise. I like to have uh, my watch list not take up too much real estate. So I can change this watch list real easily. If I right click right here and click edit, notice that I have this properties tab right here. I'm gonna click on properties and you can see where right here it shows it as a check mark. I could change this to ch show it as a dot. I can change this to, you know, d do lots of different things, change the colors, okay? In it, what I do rather than showing it as a dot is I change it to show scan light. Now a scan light puts that line underneath the ticker. And notice that it changes, it moves your heading column from here down here. All right. And notice how it narrowed the watch list. So I leave mine, I like to go uh, to uh, the scan lights, it works good for me. Some people it drives nuts, but it, it works great for me and I that's what I wanna use. And so I say, okay, now I wanna do the same thing with this one. Right click, edit, go to properties, change this one to a scan light. And notice that my watch list narrowed. Okay. And I can still sort these columns just by clicking the heading. I click the heading and it will sort those to the top. So you can have multiple sorts in here of a watch list. So essentially they're like a scan, okay? Um, and you can sort your different watch lists for various different things or, or whatever you're looking for. <clears throat> the importance of that is saving time, right? One of the challenges that we have for trading is our time, getting to the chart quick enough. Okay, getting to a chart quick enough. Uh, Greg, what is the flag used for? <clears throat> the flag, if you click a flag, it highlights that list. So for example, if I click through, if I run through this list and I flag several charts, that I want to watch, I can actually take all of those flagged items and put them in another watch list. Or I can just sort by my flag column and bring all of those to the top. If I want to keep an eye on those that I think are the best in my list. Okay, you can move flagged items to another watch list. You can move flagged items, you know, all over the place. And of course, you can um, clear all of your flags all at once if you if you choose to. Okay, so that's that that makes it really handy to be able to identify stocks as you're flipping through a watch list. And then you can just click the flag and then sort and bring all of those to the top. <clears throat> uh, no, there are not multiple flag colors.
Okay. So lots of ways that you can sort and do things with your watch list. Now I'm just gonna take this just for giggles and I'm gonna click that icon up there and I'm just gonna move this over here just to show you that, okay, now, now the, the scan I just created is in a place where it's out of, out of the um, basic area of my chart and now I can work with this all the time. I've got my scan I can run here. Just click that icon right there, rerun the scan anytime I want. If you use TC2000 Platinum, you can click this play button. If you click the play button, it will run the scan live during the day automatically. Meaning you don't have to click that button. It's always going to be bringing those charts up if you have the platinum version. Okay. I almost never use that. In fact, I almost never use the scanning feature of TC2000 anymore. I use the sorting feature of TC2000. And the reason is, is because of our live scanner software it just works so much better um, for what I want. And uh, the LTA scanner is, is just awesome. Okay. Um, no, they, no futures, no futures, Greg. I would, I would highly recommend Thinkorswim for futures trading. So as you can see here, um, we've got lots of lots of ways we can view charts and do things in different charts. Let's say um, I want to have a chart of the S&P 500. I want the spy chart, okay? I want a spy chart and I want that spy chart to always stay up there, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this charts icon and I'm going to bring up a blank chart. Just, you know, blank chart. Okay. And I'm going to change this to spy. Now watch when I do this. When I click on that and change this to a spy, it changes this chart back here to the spy as well. Well, that's not something I want. I want this chart to stay the spy. I want this chart to be something else. Okay, so what I have to do is do a couple of things to modify that. First, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to edit um, this chart. Right click on any chart and you can click edit. And you can see the, I don't know why this is set up for the default is green. You know, I'm not going to be doing that. <clears throat> I can change my background color. I can do stuff like, let's see, if I pick a color like this and then I can gradate, have a gradient in here and have a multiple color on my chart, okay? You guys know that I'm going to go with a white chart, okay? And see how uh, this chart, let me open this, expand this out. It might be a little bit small for you to see. See how this chart has these lines on the chart, date lines? Um, you can, some people like those, I don't. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to edit the chart properties and it brings up this tab again, okay? Now from edit chart properties, there's a lot of things that you can do. You can see there's a lot of different tabs, okay? But you can see these are your value lines, date lines, symbol watermark. So you can see if you want that watermark on there, you can make it really dark if you want. I tend to keep it very, very light. I just kind of want it to be in the background. You can change the scale or the size of your numbers on the side here. See how you can change them if you're having trouble seeing them? We're all getting older, right? We can scale those however you want to scale them. We can also scale our date down at the bottom. We can scale that bigger or smaller. 
so we can see it more easily. Okay. You can change where your date is located. You can say below price. If you want it to be at the all the way at the bottom of the chart, they will move the date down from here clear to the bottom of the chart. Okay. I usually like to take my value lines and my date lines and I shut them all the way off. I don't want to see them. Okay. And right from here, you can see price style. Price style tells me what my charts are. And, and you can see it's already set for one color. But let's say I want it open versus close. Okay, there's your red green chart. And you can change these colors however you want them to be. Okay, I use black, one color, black. And the reason is patterns are so much easier to see and read. Trust me on this, if you've never done a naked chart, I highly recommend you have at least one. Okay. Um, you'll save, well, you'll save these charts just by saving the chart itself. Um, um, usually you're going to adjust any chart that you make or you can set things up as a default. See here, label, you can give this a label and make it a default of how you want that set up. Okay. So I'm going to go and click OK on this for the moment. And I'm going to change this to a 15-minute chart. Whoops. Yeah, right there. Sorry, I already had it up there. Change that to a 15-minute chart. And then I am going to hit this icon right here, and I'm going to move this chart. So I'm going to put it right here at the bottom of my watch list. I can blow that up and now I'm going to change. See this little blue square right here? It's called the symbol link. I'm going to click on this and say unlinked. Okay. And the reason I want to do that, maybe I just want to watch the SPY, short term chart of SPY, kind of keep track of what's going on with the market. But then I can change this chart up here to anything I want, and that chart will not change. Okay, it'll stay live in the market. It keeps ticking along live in the market, always staying in that um, in that method. Now you can see on the links, you have multiple colors for links. So you can have a group for one specific thing and link them all to blue or red or whatever you want. And then every time you change a chart, it automatically changes everything that's linked. And that even transfers through different workspaces. So you can see I've created this new workspace here that we're just playing around with. And anything that's linked blue, if I move back over here, notice I'm on NVIDIA. If I move over here to my normal daily stuff, that's going to show NVIDIA because it's also a blue link. Okay. It will be posted on YouTube, Nick. It will be posted on YouTube. Okay, so let's talk about some of the new things that are in TC2000. Now, one of the one of the big new features in TC2000, if I go back over here, can you guys see um, 
in, in TC2000 version 19, um, it, you see I have this list right here. And notice that this list is options. Okay, TC2000 now has the ability to look for, scan, for options. You can create watch lists on it. Okay, so every time I pull up a symbol, NVIDIA, I can quickly over here see the options that are available. You can choose how many strikes that you show. You can choose whether you just have calls. You can have puts only, or you can have calls and puts. I kind of like that feature being able, to, because most, you know, if the market's trending up, I just want to be looking at calls most of the time. I don't, I don't try to counter trend trade. I want to trade with the direction of the market. So I can just set it to calls and save a little space. Okay. <clears throat> you can choose how many days that you have showing. Okay. And you can see that these options are based on an active symbol right now. And you can just continue to walk through these different, um, uh, different scans um, or scan specific things in, um, in an option chain, okay? I just made kind of a watch list here. So if I go to the diamonds, notice that this changes to the diamonds. And now I can sort through really quick, 76 days to expiration. I can look right here that it has um, a delta. Here's a 79 delta, 1.8 or 1,800 in open interest on that trade. And I, cur I put this as the mid price. Okay, now creating something for options is really, really simple. Okay, I, I, <laughs> they made this really, really simple, um, I think. Um, so let's say we want to um, put together an option chain, okay, of some kind. All I have to do is right click on the chart and look right here, option chain. <laughs> Right click on the chart and bring up option chain. That's all you gotta do. There's your option chain for it. And you can see this is, it defaults to 100 days, six strikes, calls and puts. All right, but if we wanted to change this list, notice we have our buttons over here that we can change this list. You guys know volume means absolutely nothing um, when it comes to options. The most important thing is open interest. Well, I can add open interest. Just click the plus button here and we want to add a column, okay? Add a value column. And I'm just gonna start typing open interest. And you see it start, it pops up. Open interest. Now I know what the open interest is on all of these options. I can say, well, I really don't want to look at puts today. I'm only looking for calls. Okay, resort it for calls. Let's say we need more than six strikes. Maybe we want 10 strikes in the list. Okay, and then I can remove this. Okay, I don't need that anymore. There's a bid price, bid ask on the price. You can have your bid ask in there. Percent change, whatever you want. You can add anything in here that you want. And then you can go in and you can do things like this. You can see where I've changed the colors. So all you'd have to do is right click. If let's say we want um, um, open interest. Okay, 
open interest. Maybe we want um, um, a positive. If 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 it's a um, a positive number, we want it to be green. If it's a zero color, it's white, and if it's a negative color, it's red. Say okay. So anything that comes up here where there's no options or whatever, you can see all of these are showing positive on this chart. There's some neutrals right there. There's nothing, no open interest. So you can color code these any way you want to make sense to you. You can't, Nigel, and that's one thing that's kind of disappointing. Um, one of the things that I've, I've sent uh, to Michael that I would like to see changed um, since this is still in beta, is the ability to close um, uh, close these. So for example, if I click the title bar here, it would collapse all of these options. I don't need to see options that only have six days left. So I could just click those, uh, close those, and then just be focused on the options that I want to see. But so far that, that change hasn't been made. Okay, so all you have to do is scroll down. And it's really fast in doing it. Just scroll down. Now you can set your days here. So if if you never want to go beyond 100 days in contracts or something, notice that you can set that so that your list only contains that many days. Okay. What about Delta? We need Delta on this list, right? Delta is really most important about um, anything. Open interest in Delta. Click on here, add a value column, and type in Delta. Option Delta. Click on that, add it to the list. So now we can move this stuff around. We can sort this. By the way, any watch list, if you grab the heading right here, I could drag Delta over here if I wanted. Okay, so I can just move these back and forth um, in the chart. You can also do uh, click and edit. Uh, that's an edit there. I want to edit. Let's see. Where's my edit on here? They've moved this around. Somebody help me out. Oh, they've moved it around, but you can adjust your watch list. Is it the plus? Yeah, it's pro that's probably right. I'm sorry. Yeah, edit your column set right there. There we go. And you can move these up or down. So if I want a delta all the way over to the, to, you know, ahead of the symbol, I can do that. So you can move these watch lists and adjust these watch lists. Okay. Sort them, make them however you want them. Once you have the list that you want, you can save this. Now you can also do scanning of a watch list. Okay, you can scan a watch list. Instead of diamonds here, if I click on this diamonds, I can click instead of active symbol, I can go to watch list. Okay, and you can see the watch list defaults to US common stocks. I'm gonna change that to my option focus list. Okay and say okay. Now if I click this scan, I can now scan my options in this list, okay? How many stocks are in this list? And you can see I can scan and I can sort by columns. So I can look through here looking to find specific options that I'm looking for based on a delta, based on something in price.
So now you can scan for open interest. You can scan for Delta in TC2000. Pretty darn handy if you want. What I've ended up doing, as you can see, is I've ended up just creating this list and no matter what symbol I go to, okay, I've got, instead of it, having it set as watch list, I have it set as active symbol. Okay, and that way, no matter what chart I go to within my list, if I take my my options list, if I click on Texas Instruments, because I can see Texas Instruments in here is trending 20 days and it's also above the volatility stop based on the sorts that I have in here. And you can see just very, very quickly, all of a sudden the options pop up over here and I could quickly look and see if there's anything in these options that I would be interested in. Okay. Now let me show you just a few little tips and tricks, okay, that I think make this software stand head and shoulders above, above any other software besides just the very simple scanning directly from the charts. One is price alerts. You guys know I use price alerts very, very heavily. If I look through a chart and I see a pattern that I really like, I, I don't have the time and I don't suppose you do either to stare at that chart all day long hoping for a, a, an entry signal. So what I will do, and by the way, if you, if you don't see your drawing tools, okay, see this little painter's palette right here? If that's closed, it looks like that. You click on that painter's palette, it opens up your drawing tools. All right, now with TC2000, you can grab a trend line, place a trend line on a chart, and you can actually have an alert based on a trend line. So say you had set this trend line in here, put a line in here, and say when this stock right in this area pops above that line, you want to be notified of it. And it will do that. It will notify you when it pops above a trend or below a trend. Now the majority of your alerts I use, you see these pink lines on here? These are alerts. At one point they, I, I was waiting for that price pattern to develop and I set an alert for that. Now notice here I've drawn this trend line on here and it's cattywampus on the chart. What if I want that line to be straight? Here's a really cool little trick. If you hover over one end of the line, okay, click your shift button, just hold down your shift button and then click your left mouse button, it will make that line perfectly straight. If you have a line and you just want to extend it and keep it straight, because if you start drawing this line out here like this and you're trying to draw it, it's not going to be perfectly straight, okay? It's about impossible to keep it perfectly straight. But when you hold down the shift key, that line will draw perfectly straight in the chart, okay? Right, right click on any line and you can click edit. You can make your line wider, narrower. You can change the colors. And I always put my alerts in pink so they're bright enough everybody can see them. I move it to where I want that alert to be. And then all I have to do is right click on that line and say set alert. When you set an alert, notice here you get an alert window. It's telling you what stock is going to be alerted and I have mine set to every 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes, if it crosses above or below that line, I get alerted. You can set it to anything that you want here. 
okay? How often it's going to repeat that alert. You can also decide how long that alert is going to be active. If you just want it for the day, if you want it for a week, month, whatever, okay? You can give that alert a, a description. All right, if you want, I just say okay and okay. All right, so now that alert is set. If I open up my alerts console right here, go to the top of the screen, click alerts, go to alert console, you can see all of my alerts. That are set on the chart. So when I find a stock that I'm interested in, I just set an alert on it. Now I can forget about it. Now the, now the software does the job. The software watches that chart and lets me know when something has happened that I want to see happen. I don't have to keep checking it 900 times you know, during the day. I don't have to watch it. I just let the software do its job and it brings me to the trade. So I will run through my watch list and I create these alerts, stocks that I'm interested in from my watch list. I don't flag them or anything. I put an alert on them. And then the software notice, notifies me when something has happened and I need to take a look. And by the way, those notifications come over here. If you look right here, there's this little icon that says messages. If you click on that icon, there's, there's alert messages that pop up. You can leave this window open and oftentimes I do. You'll see it just floating over here. Okay, because I get a lot of alerts as you can tell with so many alerts on charts. I get a lot of alerts and they'll just pop up over here and I can see them. Okay. Pretty slick, pretty cool, right? <clears throat> yes, in your settings, if you go to um, Tools, System Settings, come over here. Okay, here's your general settings. By the way, as you can see over here, I have what's called drawing boards. Sometimes if, if you haven't turned this on, you'll only have one drawing board, okay? You'll wanna come over here and click on the charts tab and you're going to wanna um, check mark that include extra drawing boards if you want those. Um, once you do that, you have to shut off the software and turn it back on for it to take effect. But then you'll have these extra drawing boards over here. And I'll give you a, uh, a reason why I like to use those um, um, in different ways. Your alert notifications tab is right here. So you can set an alert, an alert tone. I use car honk because I can really hear that all the way across my house. I can be doing something else and hear that go off and know that I need to go take a look at a chart. It will also create a pop-up message and you can have it emailed or sent to your phone. Okay. So all of those are available to you, all those different um, tabs and settings and things like that um, are there. And that's just in that tools settings um, icon where you can have all these different settings and things for your software. Um, call TC2000, Al, uh, there's um, something, uh, who knows? Um, it should work. It should send you a notification. So something's wrong in there. Okay. Now let's, let's go a little bit further. Everyone sees this title bar up here. Now your title bar probably looks different than mine. And the reason is, is because I've modified it. Okay. You can modify your title bar. 
All right, right click up here and say edit toolbar. Okay. In the toolbar, you can have multiple, multiple things, lots of different rows. If you want to turn on lots of different data in your toolbar, you can turn on more and more and more. As you can see, you can just keep adding rows. Okay. You can see this blue right here, this blue number. This blue number is beta. Now that may not mean anything to most people, and that's okay. But you can add just about anything that's in your system to your top toolbar. And the reason I'm bringing this up is probably one of the most important things is the earnings date. You can click a plus button right over here. Click that plus button. And we're gonna look for next earnings. Oh no, I didn't want to change the symbol. Second here. Just start typing in earnings. Right there's next earnings. Click on that and it adds next earnings to your toolbar. Okay. Now we can change this. We can modify this. See all these different settings in here? Maybe I want the font size. You can see I've created a large font size. Maybe I want my font size for this to be um, 20. I want it to be big. Okay. Um, you can do, you can have a background color, you can make it bold, you can make it italic, um, how many decimals um, that you put in here, text color, you can change the text color and you can have a background color, so it highlights it. Okay, and once you finish all your settings and click OK, it shows up right there in your toolbar. Now you can see I've changed and modified mine. I've given it and I make sure it says earnings date on there. By the way, once you have something on here, if you no longer want it, right click, say edit. All right, and I can delete this field. Boink. Okay. And that should have gone away. It didn't. Oh, that's why I didn't confirm it. Okay, so you can delete it off. Now the reason that's kind of nice is there's lots of different things that you can do. So you can take like NVIDIA. Let's say you want to know about dividends. Well, you can see right here in my chart, on my, my chart, I can see that this company has a dividend. NVIDIA pays a 0.34% annualized dividend yield. I've got it right in my toolbar. So you can set this toolbar to do just about anything you want it to do. Okay. Also notice that if you come up here, right where your symbols and things are, you can click edit this field. You can see that I've changed mine to a different color and made it a bigger font size. That's kind of handy for me because it's a real quick, quick, um, um, thing and, and, and it just makes it easy to see. So you can choose whatever color, do whatever you want in that title up there. Another real handy thing is this quick um, quick move where you can go from a 15 minute chart to a daily to a weekly. 
okay right here and all you do is click this little arrow icon right here and if you want to add a different time frame or something else you can you can pick up this uh, different time frame in here so let's say we want to just look at a 30 minute chart you can bring up any time chart that you want okay if you want default time frames Notice when I go back to daily, it, it, it removes that. If you want default time frames, you're going to go to Tools, System Settings. I believe this is how you do it. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, um, Tools, System Settings, Charts, and you'll pick those defaults that you want to be listed on the top of your screen. So you just put a check mark in the ones that you want to show up on the screen. If I wanted a five minute chart, I click on this and I say, okay, or close this. Now notice I have a five minute selection here on my chart. I can quickly move through different time frames. Okay, that's pretty handy. Again, tools, system settings, charts, and make those adjustments on the fly, okay? So what we've got going here in this system is one of the best tools I've ever had for getting to and seeing charts. Here's another great feature that I think is just one of those really, really cool features. Take a look at the drawing tools. You can set up drawings for very di different things in your chart. Maybe you're looking at, um, you, you trade short-term charts and you trade longer-term charts. You can have one drawing set up one drawing board set up for your weekly charts okay you can have one drawing board set up for your short-term charts okay so that's very very handy to have multiple ways that you can draw up a chart, keep track of things, different alerts. And what I've even done if, if um, during really high volatility times of the market, I will actually do some intraday trading. I will go to a different drawing board and all of my alerts will be different colors. Instead of that pink color, I will make it a different color so that I know that is an intraday alert that went off. And I can just click on that drawing board for that intraday alert and I can take a look at that chart. Okay. Thanks guys for all your help in here posting those different tips and tricks. I know everybody uses TC2000 differently, but I just wanted to give everyone this, this, uh, this kind of overview of all the different things that are possible, all the different things that you can do with TC2000. This is one of the tips that I think guys is worth the investment into TC2000. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Just this one alone is worth the investment in the TC2000. Let's say we know technology stocks have been doing pretty good lately, right? And let's say we look at like um, SMH. SMH. SMH is an ETF, semiconductor ETF. So kind of that techie sector. We know it's been doing pretty well. But with the click of one button, this icon right here, anything that's a component ETF or a component index or anything like that, I can come over here, click that one icon, I can bring up a list of everything that's in SMH. One button. And then 
you, you guys know when you create a watch list like these sorts that I have over here, you can save your watch list column set. Okay, so I'm going to right click on here, come up here, and I'm going to replace my column set, and I'm going to replace it to the column set I use all the time. Okay, and say replace the columns. So now I've pulled up everything, whoops, I changed symbols. Got to fix that. SMH, pull up the list. Replace my column sets. I can sort this list. I can find out what's above the volatility stop, what's trending 20 days. And I can quickly find the stocks that are moving SMH. What is doing the best? What's making SMH move? Okay, so I can quickly get to those lists, those specific stocks that are really doing something and moving an entire ETF. I can do the same thing if I just, if I pick up the diamonds, I can grab a list of everything in the diamonds and then quickly sort that list, oops. Did, it, did that again. Can't talk and do things at the same time, I guess. And quickly find that list. I can find out what's moving in the sector, what's not moving in the sector. I can find out what has balance of power. Real quick, I can sort by balance of power in here and find out that Boeing has a negative balance of power. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on a 15 minute chart. There we go. There we go. Bullish balance of power. I can quickly sort at things that are pulling back. You guys know I, I look at something's called a 3 8 trap. I want the 3 pulling back to the 8. I know that Travelers is pulling back. Possible setup coming. Okay, let me give you that. Here's my code for the 3 8 trap. You guys can, uh, there's nothing fancy about that. Anybody can, anybody can do that. Um, so all I'm looking for is the three exponential moving uh, moving average pulling back toward the eight exponential moving average setting up these nice little pullback potential entry trades I never use the trapping it, it doesn't work Al uh, um, I've got tons and tons of scans that I've written a lot of them are you know almost worthless well I would say the majority of them are worthless you try to get really fancy with your scans. You try to get really, um, you know, everybody does this. You get started on the whole scan thing and you get more and more complicated. You try and get more and more stringent. You try to be the smartest guy in the room of a scan. Let me, let me tell you this right now. Keep your scan simple. Our job is to look at charts. If you try to narrow um, a scan too tightly, you're going to miss 90% of the good charts out there. Keep your scans very simple. They're the best, they're the most effective, and then you just have to flip to the charts. That's what our job is.
And so I spent years creating tons and tons of scans. And I can tell you for the most part, it was a complete waste of time. Cost me a lot of money wasting time. I felt like I worked all day and got nothing done. Didn't make any money. Guys, trading, making money in trading is about looking at the charts. If you're not willing to look at the charts, if you're not willing to go through a group of charts, you're in the wrong business. If you think you can create the perfect scan that's going to give you the three charts that you should buy today, let me just give you, save you a whole bunch of time. You're wrong. It won't work. So keep your scans very simple and don't use too many of them. Okay. And like I say, except for sorting a watch list, I don't use the scanning feature of TC2000 really anymore. I use the LTA scanner. Is there anyone in here that's never heard of the LTA scanner? It's a live scanner. All of the, where you guys are worried about creating scans in the code, it's already done for you. We've created it. I saw somebody ask about a round of bottom breakout scan. You buy the LTA scanner, it's built in. You click one button, open up the scan, and you have you have the round and bottom breakout scan. You have my pop out of the box scan. You have the 3-8 trap scan. And you can have any multiples of scans beyond that. And it's all built in. You don't have to know the code. You don't have to do anything. You turn on the software, open the window, and it's running. And it's automatic. You don't have to rerun it. You don't, it, it, it just automatically brings you the tickers. You don't have to run, a, oh, well, let me run this scan now. Let me run this scan. You can have all of them open and it just runs them. Yeah, for a non-member of Hit Run Candlesticks or, um, or Right Way Options, it's $147. If you're a member, we've cut the price to $97. Now, the reason it's, I know a lot of people think, oh my gosh, really that much? I can tell you we're not making a ton of money on this. What we're doing is we're paying for lots and lots of data. <laughs> and how many in here that uses it has already paid for it? Because I'm telling you guys, it pays for itself. Big time, right, Bob? It pays for itself. It brings you those trades that are setting up. And all you have to do um, with, with uh, the scanner running, um, we've, um, Ed has figured out how to link uh, TC2000 with the scanner. So you double click on a ticker that comes up in the scanner and it automatically changes your chart to that chart. It's just one of those tools, guys. If you want speed and efficiency, take a look at the LTA scanner. I wish we could make it cheaper. We, we are more than half the cost of other scanners out there on the market. So we have cut this thing to the bone as it is. It takes massive server space to do this. Um, our servers are bringing in, and I, I say servers because there's multiple servers, bringing in data points. One server will bring in data points of like 20,000 data points a second. And then we send them out to you. So that's the cost. And, and I wish we could make it cheaper. Can you use our data feed for other programs? Um, um, well, no. Um, we pay for that data feed. Yeah, and trust me, you give it a try. Try it for a month. Open up the scans that are already in it. And what we're doing right now is we're actually building strategy scans into it. <clears throat> we 
We're building strategy scans. So if you like the round of bottom breakout, if you like the pop out of the box, if you like that, essentially it's a, the easy button. You turn on the scan, say, yeah, I want the round of bottom breakout window scan running. You'll click on that one button, open up the window, and boom, your round of bottom breakout is all put together. All the features that you want, you don't have to think about it. It'll, it'll just be there. We're gonna create, I don't know, five, six, 10, of those strategy scans that are pre-built. You don't have to go through and pick out the different things that you want. You still can, you can modify them. All right, but it's very, very, gonna be very, very simple to just pick up the, stra the, the strategy and have all of the patterns that we know that work that we make money on every day. Okay, I will tell you, let me just really quickly, right way options. Anyone that's a member of right way options can verify this. This is one of the patterns that we trade. We traded this. Okay, between here and here, I made eight grand. I just closed another trade that I opened here to here. Okay, made almost 40%. Those charts came to us through the LTA scanner. Okay, and it's just patterns that repeat over and over and over that we trade over and over and over again. And the LTA scanner just brings you those trades. All right, so take a look at it. Well, um, there's plenty of information on the website. You can watch how it works. Yeah, thanks Steve for, or, or Don for posting that. Um, that link to the website where you can just read and, and watch some videos about the LTA scanner, what it is, what it does. And it just gets better every day. just gets better every day. So back here on TC2000, you can see there's so many different ways that we can work with watch lists, make it simple, dock it in different places, and just have those trades coming to us um, very, very quickly. We can set those alerts. We don't have to try to keep track of 100 different stocks. We let the software keep track of those stocks for us and then bring us those trades when they alert. Here's a good example of, of, of a trade that we did here in um, Right Way Options and here's two alerts. This was an alert line. We entered um, this trade right in here. On this day, we entered this trade right here on this day. Both very profitable trades. And, and I'm talking 40 plus percent on option trades, profitable trades. And all I did was set the alert and make the trade come to me. So here's the thing, guys. If you use that coupon, and I'm gonna give you that coupon again. If you use this coupon, if you go to TC2000, let me give you this link again. It's gonna cost you $274 for the year to buy TC2000. Trust me on this, you will never regret having it because it will bring you to the trades faster. You'll make more money. And honestly, one good trade pays for this software for a year. Now, I would never say this to Michael Thompson from TC2000, but if they doubled the price of TC2000, I would pay it in a heartbeat. And the reason I say that is because it is such a fantastic piece of software.
Very rarely do they have a server problem or anything where our data gets delayed or something or some kind of weird thing going on. Yeah, don't be saying anything like that, that to Michael. But this software will make you money. All right. And I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, if you're trying to use free and cheapy software, you, you know, you get what you pay for. Okay. But hopefully you can see the ability to, to sort, run scans, get to the detail that you want exactly. If you're an option trader, the new features uh, for options are fantastic. Having the software do the work for you. Here's the other thing. Yeah, Al's mentioning that Michael is a great guy. Okay. Michael um, listens to traders. So like I said, I sent something to Michael on this beta version that I would like to see these, this option chain, these uh, different series collapsible. I have no doubt in my mind that they are taking that seriously and it may be part of the software here soon. They listen to us that are traders on how to make it better, how to improve it. Okay. Vertical chart options. Al, I don't even know what you're talking about. I had a great conversation with Michael in Las Vegas during the money show. Um, he and I have a connection. Um, Martha Stokes, my old mentor, uh, Martha and Michael are very close friends. And so I've, I've kind of been, uh, I guess, grandfathered into that circle. <laughs> and um, had a great talk with Michael this last time in Vegas. I was so excited about the mobile version because um, what's nice for me is I want the flexibility to be able to get up and leave if I want to. And now with the new mobile version, you have the full version of your chart software. And by the way, it doesn't cost you anything more. Um, you have the full version, all your scans, all your watch lists, all your drawings, everything come with you. You can kick on your mobile app in um, your iPad or whatever. You can be on an airplane. You could be you know, setting at a restaurant charting. Okay. That's the kind of thing that makes my eyes, my wife's eyes roll back in her head like, oh, geez. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's the coolest thing in the world. Um, or you can take your charts with you. You can be completely flexible. Exactly. On a date and charting. That's exactly right. Be careful if you try to do it in a movie. Somebody's going to get mad at you. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. At the beach, anywhere. Grab your iPad, grab your tablet, grab your Chromebook, whatever it is. Take it out wherever you go and you're, there's your charts. Everything is right there in front of you. How cool is that? And they don't charge you an extra cent for it. Because it's all cloud-based. And that's the other cool thing, guys. You can mess this chart. I mean, you could do all kinds of things. And you cannot, um, it's almost impossible to lose data. And the reason is because everything is stored on their server. So you switch versions, you do whatever you do, you know, want to do. All of your lines, all your drawings, all your scans, all your setups come with you. Everywhere you go.
You take that mobile version, you go out someplace, everything is there. And it just works beautifully. So I really have to encourage everyone um, and, and encourage you strongly to take a look at this software. I truly believe it will help you be better as a trader once you kind of learn it. It doesn't take very long to learn either. You can see it's really pretty intuitive on how you do things. You want to add a different indicator to your chart? I mean, it really is as simple as just right-clicking on the chart and say, add a plot. And then you start typing in. If you want Bollinger Bands, just start typing. And look, at it just pops right up here. All of your Bollinger Band selections. Okay. Set up your Bollinger Bands. It, 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 it's not hard. Here's a, your Bollinger Band um, breadth um, indicator. So, I mean, you can do anything that you want on these charts. You can move these things around. Let's say I want balance of power above the chart. I can click right here, move it, and put it right up here at the top of my chart. If I have too many indicators on the screen and I want to clean it up, a little bit, I can use that same icon right here and say pin it. And it pins that indicator right over here on the chart so I can bring it back whenever I want. But I hide it when I need to hide it. How slick is that? You can even take um, indicators and overlay them. Okay, so if you wanted to have, um, let's say you want to have an RSI. Got to type it, right? The RSI indicator, you have an RSI indicator. Let's get rid of um, our moving average five. And let's say you want um, RSI and money stream. Let's see, there's my uh, money stream. Let's see, that's the one I want. There's the money stream. Okay, now I wanna overlay these two. I don't want them to be separate. I want them to be overlaid. Okay, so all I have to do is click this little icon right here and say overlay and scale with. Whoops, I overlaid it and scaled it with balance of power. I didn't want to do that. Overlay and scale it with my um, RSI. Okay. Now the scale with obviously is not working very well here with these two indicators. So you don't have to have it scaled with. Let me remove that and do that one more time. Because you guys are going to go, now wait a minute, that's not cool. And I'm just, this time, instead of scaling with, I'm just going to overlay the two. So let's change this to a darker color or something that we can see a little bit better. Let's make our line width a little bit bigger so we can see it better. Let's change our money stream to something like a darker green. There we go. And now we have those two indicators laid over one another. That actually makes sense. What if I just want to see, I want to see when I have um, something like RSI above the money stream. 
I only want to find stocks where the RSI is above money stream really quick. Click on RSI, hit create a condition. We want RSI. We don't want it greater than. Um, let's see, crossing up, change high. Hey, now wait a minute. They're not giving me that. They're no longer giving me that in here. That's something new. Because I can't base it against the money stream. That's really weird. Let's see if I go with the money stream. No. Interesting. Well, I guess I can't do that from the screen anymore. Um, where I, I'm looking for just a cross or something crossing up. I used to be able to do that. That's a change. I didn't scale it together, and that might be the reason, Bob. I didn't scale them together. So I probably need to scale them together. So it all depends on how you set this up. There's a lot of different ways that you can combine indicators, do things in the chart, um, and that kind of thing. Anyone here that's brand new that's never been here to a hit run candlesticks and right way options? Let me show you an indicator that I think will help you guys a ton. Now this is something, there's two ways to look at this indicator. First, it's a volatility stop. And, and the volatility stop, let me see if this is the right one. Um, it's not. The volatility stop is an indicator that's on TC2000 already. Okay. And I'm just going to take a couple of minutes with this. This, I think, helps a lot of people see a chart more completely. Okay. Now, the volatility stop, the way I have the settings on this, notice my settings. It's a 10 period 1.5 multiplier. Now, I am primarily a swing trader, swing and position trader. The volatility stop helps me see support, resistance, and trend. If you guys struggle with that and you have a hard time seeing support, resistance, and trend, I'm going to go to a chart with no lines where I don't have any drawings on it. Notice how the volatility stopped when it turns red. We're, at, we're below resistance. It's showing me those levels of resistance in the chart. So I can be comfortable entering short trades to the downside. I also have a place that I can place my stop losses. Okay, um, on the upside, you can see when we move up, we turn green the way my settings are, and it shows me trend and it shows me price support levels. Okay, so if I were to enter this trade in here, I can see that where the volatility stop is telling, telling me that my stop loss should be, I can set a stop loss right underneath that level in the trade. Just an excellent little tool to help you spot support, resistance, and trend. If you're struggling with that, and, and it's already included on your charts, okay? All you have to do is right click, add a plot, and just start typing in volatility stop, and right there the indicator is. You pull it up, create your settings on it, um, 10 period, 1.5 if you want mine, and um, add the colors in that you want, red and green. Okay, it is an excellent little indicator to help you see support, resistance, and trend. If you're struggling with that, if you're struggling with making money consistently in the market, I want to ask you guys to go over to my YouTube channel and watch a series that I put on YouTube that's about the volatility stop. If you watch the first video, there's even, if you look in the description, there's an ebook that I wrote on this indicator. You guys can have it free. Okay. Just look in, the, look in the description of the YouTube channel. By the way, the series is called Strategy for Consistent Profits. 
So is the ebook. You can go there on YouTube. Please subscribe when you're there on YouTube. How many of how many folks have never been to my YouTube channel? Let me give you the link. I provide tons and tons of free information. And by the way, this video today, later on this weekend, will be on my YouTube channel for you to be able to view. Okay? All the information I put on there is free. Okay? Make sure you look in the descriptions. So you take a look at my YouTube channel here. Here's my YouTube channel. Give it a second. There we go. You click on playlists and you can see right here, here's my playlist on TC2000 software tutorials. If you're looking for more detail on specific areas, smaller videos, it's all right there. If you're looking for that education um, series for strategy for consistent profits, just click on that. There's the video series. Okay, if you open up this video, come right down in here um, for your um, for the stuff in the description. Show more right here. Notice that the, right there is the link for the for the ebook. Okay, and if you guys happen to lose the link, the coupon link for TC2000 that I've shared today. If you're interested, you can go over here to the YouTube videos and you click to watch one of these uh, or videos on TC2000. Click right here and you can see there's the save 25 coupon right here on the, the YouTube channel. And if you go show more, there's all kinds of information in there for you guys. All right, and if you, let's see, I think it's on this video. Hey guys, it's finally. I think it's on this video. No, it's not. It must be on the watch list video. Scanning, it's either on the scanning or working with a watch list video. Yeah, here it is. So if you look right here, click show more. Look right here. Here's a PDF I've included in here that you can download. PDF for uh, that are PCFs for chart patterns. You can download that. Have all kinds of code for chart patterns and things like that. Here's a PDF for um, um, for um, candle candlestick codes. And you can see right here. Here's my 34 exponential trending 20 days scan. You can grab that and download it. So I include that stuff in the description of the videos. Tons and tons of information there. Okay, do me a favor. When you come over to, the, to this channel, do me a favor. Click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. Okay, there's a little bell icon every time I upload a video, you guys are notified. And by the way, I upload videos every market day. There's a morning video, a morning preparation video where I go over the charts. I go over some possible trades that are setting up. And you guys can have access to that free. Okay, it's all free. Everything on here. There's over 500 videos on my channel now. So please do me a favor, run over there and subscribe. Become a member to um, that video and you'll have access to all of this information and I, I repeat classes on this all the time. So please do me a favor and do that. All right. 
Anyone have any questions that I can answer real quick? We've been here almost two hours. You guys are diehards. Thank you very much for being here. I wanted this to be kind of a real complete, um, you know, obviously there's way more things in here that I can show you about TC2000, but hopefully you can see it has tremendous flexibility. There's tremendous opportunity in this software. And I hope you get a chance to use it. I hope you take a look at this software. I really do, because I think you're gonna find that for $274, for a full year of the software, it's gonna be the best money you've ever spent as a trader. Um, it's a, a great tool. All right. Everyone, oh, and by the way, last but not least, I really want to recommend, and once again, I am no expert, and I don't put myself out to be an expert at TC2000. Make sure you attend those local events that TC2000 will put on from time to time. You'll learn a lot more, have a lot more opportunity to work with somebody individually, and get your questions answered on different things. So truly, truly recommend that. You can also from TC2000, if you do not know this, um, I'm gonna show this to you. If you go to www.warden.com, you can literally search for anything about TC2000 in here. If you come over here to this tab that says discussion, click on discussion, Okay, notice it brings you to a discussion board. Let's say you want to have, you want to search. Just click search and they make you type in warden in here to make sure you're not a robot. Let's say you wanted to search for um, bullish engulfing. Okay. All of these things in here relate to the bullish engulfing. And if you open up these topics, you're gonna to find there's, there's going to be scan codes right here. That's how you do a scan code for a bullish engulfing candle. You can copy this, just highlight it, copy this. Oops, don't get everything there. Copy and paste this right into your TC2000 and now you have the bullish uh, a bullish engulfing scan code for your charts. So virtually you can search in here for anything. If you want an indicator based um, scan, just search here. Yeah, and there's a guy in here by the name of Bruce. If you ask a question, um, if we go back here, oh, let's see, active topics, let's go there, active topics, you can ask a, a trainer, okay, so you can ask a question about it, and then they will actually respond to you, and they can literally write any scan for you. You can see here's a discussion on TTM Squeeze. Um, TTM Squeeze um, is one of those scans that, um, now all of a sudden I can't think of the guy's name that created this. Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a guy who, Carter, yeah, John Carter, thank you. John Carter, TTM Squeeze. Um, well, you can come over here and you can see the discussion about TTM squeeze. Here's Bruce. And if they've asked about a scan or something like that, um, he will actually, here's a TTM, TTM trend. And they will write the scan code for you. If you have a question, I want, I would like TC2000 to do this for me. Pose the question to him. He will answer back and even write the scan code for you. So how cool is that? All right.
<clears throat> see here where he's writing the scan code <clears throat> look how complicated he'll do So fantastic. I highly recommend you go over to that website. If you have questions, uh, specific um, um, scan questions, different things like that, um, he's the guy who knows everything there is to know about it and can answer uh, those questions um, about the software, how to use different tools, putting things together, stuff like that. That's available to you. There, One thing I have to say about Warden is their um, customer service is just pretty darn good. Is it perfect? No, but doggone it, it's really, really good. And um, the great thing about it is there's almost never a problem with the software. Okay. So another little quick trip, tip, I said, not trip, tip. So thank you guys very much for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you got something out of this today. I hope you learned a few t things about TC2000. Um, all the different things that you can do. I think it's one of the best investments I have made into my business. Okay. And I highly recommend you take a look at it. It's just, it just plain works, guys. And I'm always happy to help and share information about TC2000. So, um, you know, don't feel, um, don't feel shy about asking those questions, okay? And we, we do talk about this every day in the Right Way Options class, okay? Thank you, guys. I wish you all the best. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. And we'll talk to you all very, very soon. This video will be on YouTube later on this weekend. Watch the channel if you want to see it again or pick up where you can pause it and, and do your setup. Everyone take care. You guys are awesome. We'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend. Thank <laughs> you.